Hi everyone, this is Zach Snipes with the Clemson Cooperative Extension Service. Uh, today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about drip fertigation. Um, drip fertigation is basically just running liquid fertilizer through the drip irrigation system. It's a very effective way to get fertilizer um, to our plants at the right time and using the right amount. Um, we as extension agents got a lot of questions about how much fertilizer to use. A lot of the calculations um, are in pounds per acre per day of a lot of the crops we need, but our fertilizer is in gallons or liquid measurements. And so we were getting a lot of questions from farmers all around the state on how to convert um, that pounds of fertilizer from the recommendations to the gallon or the liquid um, rate. And so we put together our heads, um, Justin Ballou, Rob Lass and I, and we created an Excel file that told um, that would calculate how much fertilizer to use on a crop at any given day. Um, this worked great, but it wasn't the, the most user-friendly or didn't look great. Um, so we teamed up with Dr. Kendall Kirk at Edisto Research and Education Center, um, and we came up with this fertigation calculator. The way you find this calculator is just go to any search engine and just type Clemson Drip Fertigation Calculator, and it'll take you there. And I'm going to explain uh, in just a few quick steps how you can calculate how much fertilizer to use on your farm. So let's say we planted a crop. Um, and we want to fertilize using liquid fertilizer. Well, the first thing you do, we have a, a box you can check. It says use nominal fertilizer data. So there are different products that are in here. We have a 408 product, a 707, 717, an 808, and a 10010. Now these aren't the only fertilizer types, but these are the most common. Um, the numbers stand for nitrogen, phosphorus, and the last number is potassium. And so you'll just select what fertilizer you have. So today we're gonna just, for example, go with 408. Um, the reason we have these numbers in here is each fertilizer has a density. Now this density of a 408 fertilizer is 9.4 pounds per gallon. Um, what we did is we took an average of fertilizer, so not all 408 fertilizers are gonna weigh this, but this is around the average. To get more specific, to get more precise, you'll wanna to go to use custom fertilizer data. And so you would manually enter your nitrogen percentage, whatever that may be. So we could move it down to six, and then the product density or pounds per gallon, it'll tell you that on the label of the actual fertilizer is how much it weighs. So you can really dial it in um, if your product isn't on there or you're using a different formulation of a 408 or a 707, for example. So I'm going to come back and just select the use nominal fertilizer data. So the next thing to do, okay, we're going to assume that we're using a 408. Um, I can manually enter my nitrogen rate. So a lot of crops, we know that, you know, you may need one pound of fertilizer per acre per day, or you may need two or half a pound or whatever it is. And so you have the option to bump up that number or take down that number as much as you want. Now, that's if you're reading the book and following the recommendations like we recommend. If you don't have that handy, we have built in the nitrogen recommendations per crop. Um, so let's go down here and select, I don't know, tomato, everyone's favorite. So we select tomato and then we can select if we have a high uh, soil potassium or a low. So we're going to select low based on our soil test. So based on this, um, we have a recommended nitrogen rate of half a pound per acre per day from day zero to day 14. Now, that's from when we first transplant the plant to the second week. Let's say we're producing tomatoes. We're putting a lot of energy and, 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 and effort into producing tomatoes then we're gonna be in day 78 through 98 when we're harvesting tomatoes, the plant's really pushing out um, tomatoes. So as you can see, we need more nitrogen as the plant matures, as the plant is working harder. This is already built into this calculator for you. Okay, so again, just to recap, we're gonna use the nominal fertilizer data. Uh, our fertilizer, we're gonna assume in this situation is a 408. We're doing tomatoes. We have a low soil pH according to our soil test. Um, we are at 78 to 98 days after planting them. And so we come down here and we say how many acres are fertigated or how many acres are being irrigated. Now, 
This number is um, the acres that are actual under cultivation and not real estate acres, okay? And so you may be farming on one real estate acre of land, but you're not actually farming or fertigating one acre of tomatoes. And so you have to do your uh, calculations about how many row feet um, are in that scenario. So for example, if you're on a six foot center, there are 7,260 row feet or plastic feet in one um, land acre. And so I can, we can work uh, with you guys through that, but it's really important that you really dial that in. So once you choose your fertilizer, you choose your crop, you choose the maturity uh, period that, that crops in, and then you choose your acreage. So let's assume that I'm a small farmer and I have um, a four tenths of an acre under production. Then I go down here and look at my four zero rate. I need to be using 2.66 gallons of that liquid fertilizer per day. Now, a lot of folks don't irrigate every day. Um, and so they don't fertilize every day. And so for the entire week, we need to be using 18.62 gallons for that entire week. Um, we recommend that you break that up into multiple applications. The more applications, the better. Um, and so we want to give our plants small doses of fertilizer throughout the week. And so if you can break that up into two, three, or even four applications during the week, that would be better. Um, and so what you would do there is just simply divide 18.62 divided by how many times you are going to fertilize that week. And it'll tell exactly how much fertilizer to use, uh, which is going to really help with your yields and getting your yield potential up. And it's also going to minimize the amount of fertilizer um, that we waste because our plants are going to be effectively taking it up exactly when they need to take it up um, and exactly the maturity stage with the exact fertilizer and the exact acreage that we're using. So anyway, this is a cool little handy tool. We hope you guys enjoy it. If there's anything we need to add, um, subtract, make this better, please reach out to us. Thank you.